All right, a mild evening here in West Michigan because of cloud cover that has increased and a south wind that is going to stay just strong enough to keep the atmosphere mixed. We're only falling back into the upper 60s, and that's where a few of us stand right now. 68 in Allegan, 69 in Coldwater, still 75 in Benton Harbor, and 73 up in Big Rapids. Grand Rapids is expected to fall back to around 68 degrees overnight tonight, but dew points are increasing. Cloud cover is thickening. It does lead us to an isolated shower chance here. I think most of the rain will stay north of 96 here overnight tonight, but there may be a shower to south uh, into the morning commute hours. But the bigger thing is the temperatures. We're in the mid 80s here tomorrow. Cold front with the storms will keep us in the low 80s Friday and Saturday. Then a significant warm front lifts into the region and we are going to get into the mid to upper 80s and then eventually low 90s here early next week, Monday and Tuesday are going to be some hot ones. So here's your planner for tomorrow, and that is getting into the mid 80s. We'll start mostly dry, isolated shower still possible in the morning, but I think we'll be uh, really free and clear to about three o'clock when some storms will start to develop in the mid afternoon. And that is where our severe storm potential lies. From Saugatuck to Ionia, off to the south and east is where we have that slight risk for severe weather, including uh, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, uh, Coldwater, Berrien County, South Haven as well. Holland, Grand Rapids, Greenville to the north in the marginal risk. So we're all in a severe weather threat, but the greater likelihood is our communities to the south. And as it stands right now, there is a wave of severe storms off to the north and west in Wisconsin. As that tracks down, that weakens. That brings us our first rain chance here tomorrow, but our storm chance again arrives in the afternoon. So there's a few of those showers, really the remnants of what that system is uh, by the time we get to tomorrow morning. We'll see some sunshine through the middle of the day by noon. Some of us could have full sunshine for a couple of hours before this line of showers and storms starts to move in. This is four o'clock really starting to develop between two and three and then sliding to the south and east. So it looks like it could be a pretty decent line here. And not only that, it's known as what could be a ridge rider where it kind of follows the momentum of the jet stream and it could lead to more of a prolonged strength, but also could move through a little bit quicker. On the back side of it, Friday is going to have more sunshine, but again, a little more refreshing air. Our dew points will fall back to the 50s. Here's our threats, and all modes of severe weather are uh, in effect for this event tomorrow. Wind gusts are main threat. There is a threat for hail and a non-zero tornado threat, but I think tornado threat will be focused more uh, south and west of Michigan, so that's some good news there. Rainfall, though, going to be something to watch here because we're trending drier in the long-term forecast, and we're starting to need some rain after a fairly dry spring. We're looking at a widespread third of an inch of rain. Obviously, some storm downpour could bring more and we'll take anything we can get.